Alright, we're looking for Switch games here, folks. Any Switch games? Maybe over here in this glass case. And do they not have any Switch? Oh, there's one! <laughs> folks, I think this might be their only Switch game in the entire store right here. It's honestly a really good price at $30, which is great, because I'm on a mission right now to collect 250 Switch games while spending no money out of pocket. Which means that in order to buy that $30 Switch game, I've got to find at least $30 worth of expected profit by flipping other stuff in this store. For example, folks, this Vampire Secrets game that I just found right here for 8 bucks looks like I can get $14 for after fees on Amazon. So because I'll make $6 when I flip this game, we have $6 in our Switch game budget. And speaking of Switch games, look what I just spied. Apparently they do have some that aren't in the glass case. SpongeBob, okay, yeah, that is one that I'd like to have eventually. NBA, uh, not so much. I'm not a huge sports guy. And Rapala Pro Fishing. Although, folks, I just looked up this Rapala game and apparently I actually could make three dollars flipping it on Amazon so I think I'm just gonna do that and get a little bit more budget for the games that I do want I just did a bunch of looking and scanning in this uh, disc section over here and didn't find a bunch of stuff that was underpriced. But we still have the glass case over here and I can sometimes do really well with like cartridge stuff, so I'm optimistic. At first I thought this PS5 game might be worth it because it's sealed and you can see it's been marked down, but unfortunately I'm not approved to sell it on Amazon. Oh no! Oh my gosh, folks, look what I just spied. Yu-Gi-Oh! Resheth of Destruction for only 15 bucks. And look what it goes for on Amazon. That's literally a $20 profit and puts us only $1 away from our 30 we need for Pokemon Snap. And folks, after just a bit more scanning, look at this right here. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for 20 bucks. And that literally goes for 36 after fees on Amazon. So once we pick these two bad boys up, we'll have more than enough money for our Pokemon Snap. The biggest game I'd love to get today is Zelda Breath of the Wild, my favorite game of all time. But this game right here is a great start. Folks, the first stop was a huge success, coming away with Pokemon Snap for 30 bucks, which is a great deal. Granted, I thought the game played a little bit slow. I loved the original. Maybe the original was slow too. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments. But we also found so many flips that we actually have an excess $15 to spend on more Switch games. I've actually heard that GameStop is still running their half-off clearance Switch games, which would be a great place to start. I just kind of wish there was one close by. And that is what I'm talking about, folks. So really all we have to do is find enough, find some clearance games in the Switch section, and hopefully our $15 budget will take us farther than it normally would, although I'm not seeing any yellow stickers over here. Hmm. Are y'all still doing 50% um, off the clearance stuff? Do y'all have any clearance Switch games? Oh, they're, okay, great, thank you. Oh, folks, they do have Breath of the Wild, but it's not on clearance, so we can't afford it. Shoot, oh, I'd love to have Strikers too. That'd be amazing. So I've been trying to find some flippable games in the clearance section to build the budget a little bit, but unfortunately, even after half off, a lot of these just are not gonna be worth it to flip. And unfortunately, with the Switch games, not only are none of them going to be $15 after discount, but like, for example, with this one, half off sounds great until you realize that it goes for $20 brand new on Amazon. Well, I guess you could say that wasn't a very successful game. Stop. It is heating up in here, folks. The puns, the puns are getting too hot right now. Folks, I'm really hoping that we can find some good stuff to flip in this Cash America pond because the last stop of the day is going to be Game Exchange. I know for a fact they're gonna have a killer Switch section and so I wanna have a decent budget to buy at least a few good games. All right, so I found the electronics section, but I've <laughs> got some Anchorman cards back there. Kind of a big deal. But unfortunately, not a whole lot in the way of video games at this pawn shop. That's a bummer. And unfortunately, the disc game's not looking much better. Yeah, I was just looking to take a look at uh, this DS here. Do you guys know if y'all have much wiggle room on the price on this? I still do 100 out the door, no 100 up. Okay. Well, folks, what at first looked like a terrible stop ended up being amazing because this bad boy right here, this Nintendo 2DS, they had marked it 100 bucks. They ended up cutting the tax off for me, so I only paid 100 out of pocket. And I've sold these bad boys very quickly for $150 after fees on Amazon all the time. And not only that, but I also saw that this bad Bad boy comes with a mystery game. Sometimes pawn shops like this will actually forget to check the cartridge slot before they put it out on the floor, which can definitely help my margins. So editor Riff, can I get a drum roll please? I'm still thinking about how bad your last joke was, so I'm, I'm gonna say no to that, to that drum roll. 
What could it be? Oh, <laughs> well, folks, I mean, what can I say? It is a Mario game. That's not a total loss, but after fees, it's probably worth less than 10 bucks. But seriously, folks, going from a $15 budget to a $70 budget is a game changer. I'm getting down here to get out of the wind. Our next stop is going to be Toy Crazy, which I've been told also has video games. So we'll see if there's anything worth flipping or maybe they even have Switch games, too. We'll see. Would you mind if I took a look at some of these games over here? All right, folks, so Toy Crazy here in Louisville. Definitely a little hole-in-the-wall hidden gem game store, if any of you guys are in the area. Picked up a couple things to flip. It unfortunately was so quiet in there that I felt uncomfortable narrating, but let me walk you guys through my thought process because I got shots of everything. The first area, as usual, that caught my eye was the glass case, and there were a few games that I picked out, including this Tetris, which I did end up picking up for 8 bucks because it's consistently been able to sell on Amazon for me for, like, 15 So I saw a little $7 profit there ended up passing up on a couple Yu-Gi-Oh games that just weren't worth all that much. The only thing that bummed me out a little bit about the selection at this store is that all of their N64 games had tape over the top with the labels on them which just would be kind of a pain to get off so I didn't mess with really anything in their cartridge section but I did end up stumbling upon a Bratz Rock Angels which you guys know I've picked up before. For 10 bucks it should get me 23 after fees on Amazon so that'll be really solid but again this thing is taped shut so I couldn't check for sure if it has a manual. I'm pretty sure that it does but you guys can find out with me right now all right folks the tape is off this is the moment of truth come on brat let's go twenty dollars profit in the bank we're gonna be rolling up to game exchange in style folks day 44 of giving chipotle free advertising until they sponsor me just want to say chipotle if you're watching i am incredibly cheap i will literally take a coupon for a half off burrito for a sponsorship from you all right folks it's attempt number two to try to succeed with gamestop clearance we'll see if we have any better luck this time. Also, with $90 budget, we may actually be able to buy some stuff for the collection. We'll see. Ooh, that's actually interesting. This is the, I think, Year of Play Edition PS4. If that had the original controller, that would probably actually be worth it. <laughs> and this store just has a massive pile of all their clearance stuff. This, <laughs> well, I guess it's pretty clear what all's on clearance, at least. Hold up. Is this Among Us plush on clearance for $40? <laughs> okay, this is what we're looking at, though. Okay, that is not great. Even at 25, I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, it looks like I'd normally actually be paying 39, so that's not a bad deal, but I'm just not that interested. We can get this one for 15, but I think you can get this for 16 brand new. This one we saw already, not worth it. Ooh, this, however, Need for Speed for 15 is pretty good. This one even used is normally more like 25. I have played it, it's actually a really fun game. My only qualm is why in the world would you make a Need for Speed game one player? That makes no sense. Taking a look now to see if with the remaining budget, I think this will give us like 75 left. If there's anything that I can't live without in the pre-owned section, oh no. <gasps> This, oh, this is the first time I've ever seen this used in the wild. And Turtles in Time was literally one of my favorite, honestly, probably my single favorite SNES game. So I've been so excited to play this. <laughs> And since I'm not actually seeing Breath of the Wild anywhere here in the used section, even though this is gonna put us down to only a $40 budget if we buy both of these, we could still potentially find stuff to flip at Game Exchange and then buy Breath of the Wild there if they have it. Okay, so I did wanna let you guys know when I went out to check out, it actually didn't initially ring up as 50% off. I had to ask. I'm glad that I actually noticed because I don't always check my receipts. I need to more. But for some reason, this Need for Speed game did ring up for the full $30, so I'm glad that I caught it because that makes for three solid underpriced what the heck reseller squirtle you attention hungry little Do you have any wiggle room on that prize now folks as we head into our final stop here i should let you guys know that the reason that i'm doing this mission oh i'm in the middle of the road the reason i'm doing this mission switch challenge is to try to prove that even though video game collecting is really expensive you can still do it if you're willing to hustle a little bit so we're going into this last stop with 40 bucks and a dream and the stakes have never been higher See, folks, that's a huge shame right there. These PS3 navigation controllers used to be $2, and they've upped it to $20. I used to 
used to be able to make so much money on these, but I guess they're watching too much Phoenix resale. At least somebody is. But folks, it looks like we've got another problem. It looks like if I want to increase my budget at all from 40 bucks, it's just gonna have to be from memory. Which sucks because, folks, this Switch section is amazing. But before I get too deep into this, I'm gonna have a quick look around and see if I can find anything from memory that could get our budget up a little bit. Job Simulator is definitely not one that I see much of, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure 65 is about what it goes for. All right, folks, I don't know if you can see right in that corner right there, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Stardust Accelerator is looking like money. And folks, that extra $12 budget puts us at 52 to spend in this huge switch section. And you guys well know the first thing I'm gonna be looking for is Breath of the Wild. We got Zelda Skyward Sword, which I would love to have. No, no way. Could it possibly be that they have all these Switch games and they don't have Breath of the Wild? Please tell me that it's under Zelda. No, the last one is Xenoblade and Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's not in the Bs for Breath of the Wild either, no! <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we had to pass up on multiple Zelda Breath of the Wilds today because we didn't have the money and now that we do have the money, it's not freaking here! Keep it together, Caleb. There's still a ton of awesome Switch games, the vast majority of which I do not have yet, so I'm still excited to find the best possible way to spend this money. Although this $37 Pokemon Snap definitely makes me feel better about paying $30 for it earlier today. We could go for the Skyward Sword just to get some Zelda, and we would still have like 16 bucks to buy something else. Could also do the same thing with Link's Awakening. Could get something that I'm totally unfamiliar with, like Demon Slayer. I would love to, like, if there's some sort of like a limited run game somewhere around here, that would be super cool. Looks like this one, you can tell by this thing on the spine, is actually European. And I don't think this is actually rare though. Ooh, folks. Oh, wow, there one is. Scott Pilgrim versus the World Limited Run number 94. So folks, this is actually a really strong contender for me because I love the Scott Pilgrim versus the World movie. I think this is like a retro style side scrolling beat em up if I'm not mistaken. The only downside is it's 50 bucks so it would take up the entire budget. We'll put you to the side for now. It's also always an option to go for a bunch of cheaper games like this but honestly, I feel like that's probably a better strategy for when we have a lower budget. I kind of want to save those games. And I'm officially not seeing any more limited run games. At least not any that seem to have their original cases. The other thing I noticed is we actually would have gotten a good deal, it looks like, on this Colors Live because it would have been 25 bucks on clearance at GameStop. I just, I don't know, I don't really use my Switch for art. I guess, unless you count these videos. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, this is another great one, folks. Katamari Damacy Reroll. This is one of those games that, like, if you haven't played it, there really is just no other gaming experience like it, so I'd love to have this in the collection. And it's extremely tempting to get both of these games with my remaining budget. I just don't know if that's better than the one rare game. Two good games, one rare game. Two good games, one rare game. Two good games, one rare game. Folks, it looks like today the collector in me won out over the gamer, and I did decide to go with the rarer game. If you guys are enjoying Mission Switch and wouldn't mind subscribing, that would mean a ton to me. Check out this Switch video right here if you are enjoying it, and I will catch you guys on the flip.